How did it feel to be back out on the field after after the injury and missing a few games? Uh, it felt really good to be back with the offensive line. Um, unfortunately, things didn't go away, but as long as just being bo out there with my boys, it's always nice to be able to um, put another hand in to help out with the overall um, just going out and trying to win. Uh, it just it gives me a lot of confidence to know that coach relies on me and the rest of the offensive line in order to push the line of scrimmage down the field every single play. Because as long as the run game is established, it, we're able to get defense off balance by running play action and trick plays just so we can get our receivers behind the defense. How would you evaluate the offensive line? It seems like, I don't know, the last couple of games, there's been an attitude change. I mean, they're playing with a little attitude. Chris Crowder's playing well. We've seen Pat Kelly. Now you're back. See if we got a good game Saturday. How would you evaluate the old line? Seems like maybe playing some of the best they had this year. Uh, it's just pretty much we all have to be on the same page at every single snap. Like on the offensive line, it's not five guys playing out there. It's literally one unit. And in order to move the ball consistently downfield, all five guys have to be on the same page every single play. And um, it's just nice having – you know, big guy like Chris Strouder and Ted Hessing next to you on your right, and Pat Kelly and Riley Settling on my left. Uh, just building a bond with these guys is really important to um, our success on the offensive line. How long were you out, and what was it like being not able to be out there for the whole game? Uh, really eye-opening, actually. Uh, you know, the game of football is a very great game, and it can be stripped of you any second on the field. Uh, fortunately, my I was able to beat the injury clock and get back on the field with my boys. Uh, it was uh, eye-opening. Like, the game of football, you, you grow an appreciation for it when you're not able to be out there with the team. Um, just builds motivation for yourself to come out and play harder just for the guys on the entire team. When you're watching on the sideline and not able to play, were you able to pick anything up maybe from a different perspective, being on the sideline? Uh, I just felt like pretty much like a third level coach, like pretty much under the GAs, just giving them my perspective on the sideline. Uh, I know it's hard to see exactly what a defense is running every single game. Um, I don't know if they're taking my insight, but you know, it's nice to chip in to just to give help anytime that it's needed, especially when I'm out. Uh, most definitely, it's all about just staying together. As long as we're not pointing fig fingers or blaming each other for the losses we have, instead of looking at each other um, just individually, realizing the mistakes we made and realizing where we have to be in the positions we have to um, be in order to make plays, turn from average plays into really big plays. Think about, you got a unique perspective from you know, going to high school with both the quarterbacks at Florida State. Did, did you... Play with Chance or what was, uh, with Jack? What was the, the relationship between those two when your guys are all at Lamar High? Uh, yeah, back in Lamar, it's really crazy because I got a piece of – I got to play with Chance and Jack uh, in Lamar. Uh, I got to play with Chance his senior year. They moved me up to varsity. I was initially a defensive lineman, but they moved me up to offensive line to help out protect Chance. And um, it really took off whenever I Jack became quarterback and Chance left uh, because Jack was just a – an athlete, and I was finally becoming an offensive lineman. I was in a defensive lineman when Chance was at quarterback. But it was just really nice to be able to play, have a piece of both of them, and then both of them just coming to school with me because I came here and Chance was already here, and then Jack just followed the group, and it was nice to have them both here. Were you a center in high school, or when did you become a center? Uh, no, I was a, I was a right guard in high school, but I became center when I first got to Fort Hayes. Uh, it was a real blessing to me, honestly. Playing center is it's difficult. It has its challenges, but I like a challenge when it comes to playing on football. And I felt like I've been picking it up pretty well on just being able to snap the ball get and just blocking as hard as I can every time. What are the, being a center, I mean, kind of like the quarterback, the alignment, what are the challenges and maybe the additional responsibilities that you 
you've had to take on that under that position? Um, it's just seeing the defense and realizing, always IDing Mike, setting the slide um, away or two color on the protection calls, uh, seeing blitzes on the way DBs line up and they stack over and just calling the slide and letting the running backs even know who they're getting when we're not able to protect all five guys rushing. Since you moved to center, what was it like uh, with the shotgun snap? Was that something that came easily or was that something that you had to work on? Uh, yeah, it was actually really challenging. I didn't realize how hard it was to snap the ball and block at the same time. But um, fortunately, I was only a red shirt whenever they moved me over. So I was able to work on my craft and critique myself uh, hard in order to just become the best center I can and just play as hard as I can every snap. Why did you cut Fort Hayes? Did the, the quarterbacks play any role, any factor at all in, in the decision? What, how did you end up at Hayes America? Um, I, it's really crazy to me because it was just the entire pipeline we had coming to Fort Hayes. We had Chance, uh, Cade, and a couple other players out here before I even got here, and it was just a real good environment for me. I come from a big city and where it's really loud and it's constantly noise, but coming to Hayes, it was my first night here, it was just crazy how quiet it was. Like, I've never just heard silence before, just throughout the city or town, whatever you want to call it. But it was just really nice, and I found I can really call this place home. My parents don't like it, but... I can really call this place home. It was really nice for me.